uh, who is more apologizing uh, mwenye apologizing something yeah? nani akikosa sana anaomba msamaa anasema pole mami pole baby i'm sorry for this naweza kosa credit anze kulia <laughs> imagine <laughs> vituka hizo <laughs> mm, ama atake kitu ama ni mtume pale alafu afanye slight mistake nikimuulizia ataanza kuniongelesha akilia umeona pole mm. mama mistake ni akifanya mistake but la kuja kunyenyekea aseme kwa hivi na hivi atakongelesha akilia akilia mm. before then uh, ilikuwa nakuja on off on off then um, pia mimi siko najua kama ameachana na the former boyfriend mm. even one yeah, point in time akaniambia aliniambia ame cheat boyfriend yake na mimi you see <laughs> 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 so siku ichukulia kimzaa but kafika pali the moment she was coming alikuwa na clean nyumba yangu anani ayonia ngo mm-hmm. like the wife duties eh? mm-hmm. so mimi hata nikikompea yeye na my other girlfriend eh? no na kobeta kobeta so before i decided to take her seriously as um, my main eh? mm-hmm. girlfriend come uh, okay she stands out whatever she does even if ile mtu ati anakuletea gift ama nini but she's outstanding in terms of character. It's welcome to today's episode guys and I'm here with your favorite TikTok couple. And a pia ni YouTube couple. So uh, guys I've been yearning to host this couple. This is Vanessa and Kevin. Most of you guys uh, mmekuwa mkitaka sana kusikia their story na pia eh vita kidogo pale TikTok. Uh, imekuwa mingi sana kidogo. So t- guys tutakuwa tunapiga nao story watuambie wamekuaje. Uh, what is this secret that has been keeping them together and also we understand that marriage is not easy yeye mwenyewe ndo alisema pale marriage isn't easy we fight we rise again how are you oh fine this is vanity yeah kwaje so poor you first first ni ni karembo acha niwaambie tu kweli sasa ni karembo mali safi eh achana na ile zile video kevin huwa anachukua kwaje lakini uko poa hebu tuambie life imekuaje Life say ni ngumu. Ah, Ke, ngumu Kenya ni ngumu si kwangu. Uh-huh. Life say Kenya ni ngumu. ngumu. So lazima watu wakimbie wabambane. Mhm. Uh-huh. Mm, Kevin. Yes yes. The man of the house. Ndio mimi. Kwaje? Niko fit kabisa. Songa tu. Yes, una unasonga una mbali na mama <laughs> na wewe ndio ulimleta kwa nini? Haya, mimi niko fit baba. Uh-huh. Labda niambie. Mimi niko fit. Mm-hmm. Mafans wanampenda sana. Wengine lazima wamchukie. Ah uh, unajua ukiingia katika ulingo wa social media yeah. you expect anything yeah. kuna wale wazuri kuna wale fans ama kuna haters kuna wale watu wanakucriticize ama wanakukosoa yeah. so italingana vile wewe mwenyewe unachukulia hayo maswala yeah. yes na before twende mbali sana ningependa kujua watu wengi wanajiuliza Kevin ufanya nini Vanis ufanya nini what are you guys doing either kama ni business you can even promote yourselves here okay mimi mwenyewe I own a couple of shops to know the electronics majorly based on laptops and all electronics generally mm. then Jinya. mama ka mama eh yeah, ni mtu wa jikoni yeah. pia kuna hoteli kadhaa butika mkeyu kuna chips palace ukisikia chips palace hiyo mm. ni brand yetu chips palace yes ya mama ka mama haya Eh. Ni, <laughs> ni chef chef. <laughs> eh ni chef chef na pia kuna ingine anakuje. Eh. Ili mkulima pia tunamfungulia poultry farm. Atakuwa eh. anauzia watu kuku, kuku eh. bata zote. Most of the stock specialized kwa kuku kwanza eh. mm. So kwa motel watu wanaweza leta orders za kuku eh. eh. Mkitaka eh. kuku in bulk eh. zikuje. Eh. Eh. Okay by then nimesikia hapo kwa mkulima. Wewe mkulima. Sikia pale kwa mkulima nikakumbuka watu walisema kwa lazy sana. Hebu. Nione hivi. Usikuone hivi. Nione hivi. Wewe ni hard working. Najaribu. Yeye yeah. <laughs> ndio kichwa mimi ni image. <laughs> <laughs> okay Kevin and Vanessa. Uh, yeah. Many people would like to know uh, maybe mlipatana aje the story of your life. Nani ali approach mwingine unajua? Mlipatana aje? Uh-huh. Okay. Tulipatana mkuru kwa kwa Ruben ama ni kwa Njenga? Mkuru wa Njenga. Yes, mkuru kwa Njenga. Huko kwa Ruben. Si unajua hizo maeneo. Unasema hiyo jana yakumbuka TikTok nyingine hapo fulani mtu alisema mkuru wa something. Yes. So ndio where our story began. 
me I had uh, I went to visit my aunt I was an intern in Kenyatta Hospital so pia yeye alikuwa ameenda ku visit her elder sister then the elder sister and my aunt were best friends so they used to visit my aunt's place that's where I met then from there ile kuongeongea kidogo kidogo but I was not into the relationship because uh, she was still young I was uh, in my second year uh, she was informed to so I saw it was inter- it wasn't wise yes I kuingiana so I never approached I just took our relationship uh, on a friendship level then time went by I think is it 4 years she was around those areas in Jogoro do Mukuru kwa Ruben me had returned back to Juja then she met my aunt accidentally it was in something planned then she asked my aunt hey do you have Kevo's number I'd like to speak to him mm-hmm. my aunt said no Kevo is married eh? hey. you just look for another <laughs> person <laughs> hey, <you see? laughs> but she insisted eh? mm. okay my aunt gave her the number then she called me can I hello in Vanisi then me in kona lord okay it's like four years me don't kana malizia shule and yes ngo nsha malizia shule and i pigia in Vanisi na rajaribu ku Vanisi mugani ndio aka ni explain kasema okay so tukapanga some we planned um, to meet then um akakuja ilikuwa good friday mhm yes good friday akenda is tamande so that's where our story began and that was the year when when was it 20... 19 2019 okay yeah 2019 we have been dating ile on off on off na your relationship lazima zikuwe na changamoto kidogo tunakosana kidogo tuna blockiana lakini after a while we find each other again mbona So. Umepeleka story mbio Kevin. <laughs> eh umesema Vanice alikupigia simu eh? yes. uh, sorry sorry for the interference. Okay. Ulisema Vanice alikupigia simu, aliomba namba kwa auntie yes. yako. So meaning Vanice pia wewe ulikuwa ume damu ilikuwa imekubali. Mimi nilikuwa na relationship nyingine. Mimi uh-huh. I just wanted to say hi. Ah wacha. Wallahi. Ulikuwa kwa relationship? Yeah, nilikuwa kwa relationship nyingine. Ah Mm. Unaamini hiyo kweli? Yes, I know, I know. She was dating. Mm-hmm. So vile alikuwa approach ukamwambia you are dating. Eh, hey, nilimwambianga. Mm. Pia yeye alikuwa na date. So alisema hakuwa na mtu. So ulikuwa nayo? I was in a serious <laughs> relationship. <laughs> Ali, he was in but not serious. <laughs> he was suffering. <laughs> uh-huh. So uh nani ali? <coughs> Sorry. How long did you did you take to put uh, Vanice as your girl your main real girlfriend na na pia utatuambia <laughs> <laughs> ili kuchukua mta gani okay as for me it was around i think two years jo nkaanza kumchukulia seriously yeah. it took me two years but by then before then uh, ilikuwa nakuja on off on off then um pia mimi si kwa najua kama ameachana na the former boyfriend mm-hmm. even one yeah, point in time akaniambia aliniambia ame cheat boyfriend yake na mimi you see <laughs> <laughs> so siku ichukulia kimza but kafika pali the moment she was coming alikuwa na clean nyumba yangu anani ayonia ngo mm-hmm. like the wife duties eh? mm-hmm. so mimi hata nikicompare yeye na my other girlfriend eh? no na kobeta kobeta so before i decided to take her seriously as um, my main girlfriend come uh, okay she stands out whatever she does even if she mtu ati anakuletea gift ama nini but she's a standing in terms of character ana maneno mingi ako na bidii ukimwambia fanye achagui kazi maana she does uh, she does everything yeah wow Eh Vanisi okay ah uh, so ile achana na ile story ya ule mrembo mwingine ukaamua ni Vanisi. Yes, yes, yes. Na huko achana na ile story nyingine ukaamua ni Kevin. 
Ah, ni fenye hiyo relationship ingine ilikuwa na pressure. Walikuwa anataka niolewe nikiwa sekondia. Nikaona ah, mama akaniambia wewe kufuatilia shule kwanza. Nikamwambia kama uko na haraka, tafuta tu mwingine mbio mbio. So Na sasa na sasa nilifanya ukapenda Kevin. Hmm? Ivo tu. Hakuna <laughs> paka kukuwa na kitu ilifanya ukampenda Kevin. Hata mimi ningependa kujua. Unanipendea nini? Hata ah, mimi ningujai mwambie. Nimeazii mwambie chini. Hajai niambie. Sasa tuambie nini ilifanya. Mm. Ah, mm. Nima. Hakuna. <laughs> Hakuna. Lazima kukuwa na kitu ilifanya ukaachana na ile ukaachukuja kwa Kevin. Si si nimekuambia sababu ilikuwa ni ile walikuwa wanani pressure ni elewe nikiwa secondary. Oh, oh. mm. so, na si kwa nataka kuolewa, ni kwa nataka nimaze shule kwa nje. Sasa inamaanisha ulinyoa Juli lack option. No. Acha acha kuniekea maneno kwa mdomo. Juu kisema hivyo tu that mean you had no option. Hapana. You may be given a little support vizuri. Mm. Ali kustock akaamua wacha nikupatie time. Imagine from second year mpaka akamaliza shule, si ndio? Mm. Ukakuja, ai, ulikuwa unapendwa. Ni <laughs> god. <laughs> anyway, so far so good. How has been the relationship together? Wacha huyu atuambie sasa. Kwa tu sawa. How has it been? Iko tu sawa. But kuna zile maneno zitoza ndani ndani kidogo kidogo but sisi hatujaisi pata. Tunajua tu kwa ando venye tuna handling tu. Mm. Kevin tusawa. Kevin amekuwa mtu aina gani? Ni mzuri, ni supportive. Kila kitu wako sawa, loving. Anatupenda sisi na kama mama. Mm. Ah, tuko na watoto wengi by the way, zi kama mama. Nafika hapo, usikuwe na haraka. Chai ni polepole pole ikipoa. Ana tusupport eh, yeah. ako tu sawa. Mm. Everything ako sawa. Yeah. Mm. Sikia tu sasa niulize hii swali Kevin wale vile. Sifa zinataka Kevin. Mm-hmm. What kind of person is Manis? Okay, for me she's very hard working. Caring. Eh unajua mimi Muluya asubuhi nikiamka lazima nikule ugali. So hata nikiamka eh asubuhi napata ugali iko kwa meza amekuwekea chai. Sasa niwe kuchagua unaanza na nini. So kulinda mzee anajua vizuri kabisa. Aya. Watu watanikuta huko nje. Usijali. Alafu ana ile maringo mingi mingi. Kuna time unajua kinauma nangu unajua si si ati tuko salaried kuna siku form itajipa kuna siku nyingine kinauma na so yeye hadi ugali sukuma tumekula miaka mingi sana ana ile maringo amezoea life fulani hapana so we do with the hotel we do whatever little we have so ananga maringo ana maringo nikimwambia leo tutoke tunatoka anga baada hata ni leo juli niambi utakuja tumekupatia time bora tunge kwa huko We work tirelessly day and night. Hata ukiuliza eh tunafika kwa nyumba saa 5 saa 6 usiku. By then una ngam na kuna siku ilifika saa 8 za usiku. Eh ni juu tuna work. Sasa imagine kama mimi nifunge shop ya electronics saa 4 au wako kwa hotel. Wanapambana wanapambana. By the time wanafika huko ni saa 5 saa 6. Mbona? Very late. Mm. Aya mimi As in kila siku tuko tu mbioni. Hadi nawaambia anga mwili itapumzika mbinguni. As long as we are alive, let's work tirelessly. Eh? We are working for our generations to come. Mm. So ni yetu shikane mkono tusukume ile gurudumu la maisha. Eh? So mtu asilegeze kamba hapa kidogo. Akilegeza mimi sina shida. Mimi mm. keep on pushing because I know this is my family and I have to fight for it no matter what. Mm. So lazima niweke wote on toes. Hata kulizo wafanyikazi wangu wote hakuna mwanaleta mchezo kwa kazi kila mtu eh hey, lazima tufanye kazi mm-hmm. hey. na from there mkaingia TikTok yes. uh, najua kuingia social media iko angi rahisi yeah, yeah. tuambie reception ya social media ilikuwaaje wewe ndio unafaa tuambie experience si mimi mm. nilianzisha mm. nani alikuja na idea nilikuwa na account but ilikuwa na domain So nilikuwa anaboeka kwa nyumba nikaanza tu ku post tu tu fitu tu funny funny So day 24 nilikuwa na day 24 mm. eh ni yeye alikuja akachukua hiyo video na aka post mm. So sasa nafika huko kwa shop ananiambia eh hiyo video yenye ni mo post imeenda mm. namwambia ah sawa acha ni mwanzo kupika nitaona Then nikaogopa kuangalia nikamwambia nitakungoja ndio tuangalie sisi wote mm. Ilikuwa tu sawa iko anga mbaya mm. mm. Ilikuwa sawa na sasa vile umeendelea kufanya hizo 
to consistency ya videos TikTok na life imekuaje Ndio lazima kuna watu wenye watakuchukia wengine watakupenda but mimi naona anga tu mapenzi naona si angali yangi kwenye wananichukia unjue ni wachaji wako na negative comments wengi ndio wako na positive comments so mimi nendanga tu nao na Kevin wewe umekuaje mtandao Okay Aha uh-huh. unajua tuna move in with situation and uh, we have to cope up So we are blending with life and social media also And since uh, tumeingia social media we have been consistent on posting r- love related content mm. So uh, I saw another way nimekuwa challenge na some of my fans even our editor video editor anaulizo huko nje eh these couple they are very good kwani hawajai kwa sana hawajai kwa sana so hata pia mimi nikaona nikaona pia ni changamoto kidogo tuna post uh, family content na in a family scenario lazima kukuwe na ups and down there's no marriage that is perfect mbona na ni vizuri kukoswana so we bring up a point yenye tunaona kuna mistake pale kwa indo kwa indo and we try to provide a solution so that people can emulate mm-hmm. so we are trying to cope with the real life situations exactly. yes na hebu tuambie kevin ah uh, tangu uanze ku post ulikuwa na post mwanzo mwanzo you used to post her uh, na huko na jipost so hata mimi nilikuwa najiuliza hii hii mwanaume hii tutawahi iona <laughs> una sababu mwingine akasema pale siku moja siku itangu simu itangu kachini na tukuone mbona <laughs> kaamua that let's start with uh, vanity like ni kweni kimpost na wala sio mimi okay at first uh, at first niliona hiyo suspense at least ina create some form of uh, views in attract yeah, yeah, views yeah, yeah. Eh? so nilijificha for a while then nikafika pale he tukapendana sana paka tukaachilia hiyo form eh? <laughs> <laughs> nikapata kidogo kidogo tukiwa live na jionyesha kitu kidogo kidogo anaweza sema eh nishikia hapa hivi acha niende niangalie mtoto so na tuwezi acha watu wakiwa live hivyo itabidi nitoe sura kafika pale nikaona ah nimejulikana watu wananijua acha tunijitokeze watu wakaanza kusema yeye ni bwana ya watu walisema anakula huko nje wewe wewe kasema wa acha jitokeze at least bibi yake ajitokeze mapema yeah hiyo kitu ilikuwa inakusumbua pia wewe hapana si nilikuwa najua ilikuwa najua na sasa ukiangalia pale pia ma fans wajakuwa wakimtuliza na utalaza the other side of vanity yenye atujui ni mtu aina gani nao ikokuja kwa hasira ikikuja kwa penda like what kind of person is vanity behind the camera <laughs> <laughs> okay um so you need how can i put it as in she's someone ni mtu mlege vanataka bado ya bad unaweza pata analia tu hata leo ametoka kulia akichokozwa na kitu kidogo tu watu pale anakupigia simu akianza kulia sasa mimi nashangaa nini mbaya nini mbaya what's the big thing in aliza mtu mbona so hiyo ndio tu ni zona negative side Uh, negative side mwana mwanamke ni kulia eh ingine ama ni hiyo tu mhm Ingine labda aseme yangu ndio asema yake tusikie. <laughs> ni mtu aina gani behind the camera? <laughs> ni mtu strict. Hivyo tu. Anakuanga strict na akitaka ufanye kitu lazima utafanya hakuna mchezo mm-hmm. ama utakijujui. Mm-hmm. Eh. Anakasirika. Mm. Hey, Kevin, kumbe. <laughs> na tukiendelea mbele tu au uh, unaweza tuambia nilikuwa na pale nyuma alikuwa na boxers zako akiwa ball pale anavaa kila kitu yako like sasa hiyo ndo time mapenzi ilikuwa imenoga like ukikompea mapenzi ya saa hii na pale nyuma gani gani kwa very strong gani ni pale ya, ya nyuma ama ya saa hii hebu ya jibu hiyo niko to the same bado nafaanga mbona nifae nguo yenye nita struggle kufua na kuna yenyeza oga nikifua <laughs> Na na ukiangalia Kevin ana uki ile kupenda alikuwa anakupenda before na sai gani Iko tu sawa iko the same iko the same mm, na hakuna kitu imepungua mm-hmm. eh, lakini unjue kama mama alikuja sasa lazima tupende zote 
iko tu sawa na Kevin kuna ka tension okay kana shift kidogo ya mtoto eh mtoto anapenda dadi sana eh hata nikifika kwa nyumba kana nikimbilia eh but uh, mapenzi iko bado i still love her the same way uh, as we met but ni ile um, vitu mingi ni sasa zinakuja umeona tuna projects mingi kukimbia hapa na pale so unapata ile family time kidogo naondokea kidogo juu tapata nimekimbia ma deliveries pale nitoke mapema nirudi June umeona but kama niko we usually spend our time together ile family time eh? but mapenzi bado ni ile 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 yes. na mkakuja Mungu akambariki na mtoto ah uh, who came who really wanted a kid fast sana sana huyu <laughs> alitaka mtoto sana <laughs> nikiwa bado that year mm. hata probation yake alikuwa anani hey wanani pressure aje mm. <laughs> so sasa time yenikuwa karibu kumalizia nikaona ah mm. sha kuja nitafanya aje sasa eh mm. mm. kevin akaachilia <laughs> <laughs> ni sasa tunaona most of my friends were already married they have families and kids So mimi kwa ile mbogi yangu eh hey, ni mimi sina sijoa as in ile tu girlfriend pekee eh sija settle bado so ile pressure pressure kidogo ah kidogo kidogo alikuwa for the i think hey, akaniambia tu siku moja are you ready to be a dad eh kujua it's about to go down yes wali hadi leo siko ijibu nilijamaza tu Okay silent means something. Mm-hmm. So nikanyamaza tu paka vile mtu yeye alikuja. Then we decided to stay together. Now we are here as a family growing in love. Mm. We na ulitaka mtoto kijana ama msichana sana wa kwanza. Okay before I had planned uh, mwenye anakuja kuje. But um, as she was pregnant eh, tumeenda tumefanya ma ultrasound pale tunaambiwa mtoto ni baby boy. Ah mimi nikasema, "Kali Mungu ametubariki na baby boy acha aku akuje." Na wewe vani ulikuwa unataka yupi? Boy. Boy. Eh. Oh. Niko tu sawa na kama mama. <laughs> Tukapata dem. Eh. Sasa kwanza hata sikuwa na deliver. Mimi nimempeleka usi. Tukijua tu ni baby boy, hadi banguo ni mimi nilinua na ni za baby boy. Umeona? Mm. So wali misplace hiyo. <laughs> Sasa mimi hata kwanza alinipigia simu. Ati we si tushamalizia tuko sawa. Yeah. Around saa tisa usiku. Ati nani msichana. Eh nikamwambia we ngoja. Kuwa serious. Nikamwambia umebadilishiwa mtoto. Hebu piga nduru dijiwe mtoto wako. Hata <laughs> <laughs> siku lala niliamka immediately nikaenda hospitali. Mm. Eh juma nakaniambia akubali kunione watu wangu hiyo masaa. Mm-hmm. Tungoje paka 6:45. I was patient enough and kenda nikamuona. Kasema hii siruka ni dem maybe uh, nikaulizia watu kadha akaniambia ndio ultra ultra sound at times. Ipatian. Yeah. Tukakubali ikakuwa hivyo vile ilivyo. Yeah. <coughs> Na ma, marriage life imekuwaje kwako Vani? Nimekupea jina mpya Vani. <laughs> marriage imekuwaje mama? <laughs> eh marriage si Ukipata the right person inakuwa tu saa inakuwa tu soft but lazima mkimbie mm. eh, lazima mkimbie ujue hapo familia inaongezeka fa watu wa nyumbani wanawahitaji pia eh, machukumu inaongezeka but kwangu tu iko saa nikupambana tu mm-hmm. mm. the tricky part ya marriage ni gani sasa kwa nini tricky part at least uh, okay at times mnaweza kwa na misunderstanding kidogo but the good thing you must understand a own option lazima do you live with it and uh, try to solve and come up with a solution together so kwa kuna changamoto za zinakuja we are a young couple eh uh-huh. tumeona for how long 2 years 3 <laughs> three years 3 three. Three. Yes. tunelegea 3 years mm-hmm. and as time goes by pia changamoto zetu tunapata pia tunajaribu kuzitotoa. Yes. Mwangie pale pa young couple. Yes. A wengi wangependa kujua young couple ni between 50 ama 40. Eh, <laughs> 20s. 20s. Huko <laughs> au 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 wengi wakitaka kujua hiyo. Ndio tumefika tu third floor juzi. Third floor mpika juzi tu. Yes. So uh, watu wa juzi mnaweza shikanisha ni navani. 
Niko between 21 to 25 sijafika 25 niko tu hapo katikati. Ah wewe bado uko na bado uko na mayai mingi so tunategemea generation to generation. Mmoja peke yake ndiye amebaki. Tunataka before 30 akuwa amemalizana na hii chapter. Before 30. After 30 sasa tunaanza kulea. So mimi naweza piga sabu ya 33s. Sio Kevin. Eh hapo hiyo sabu iko sawa. Eh hiyo sabu iko sawa. Unashtuka nini? Mm. Mimi ndelea. Sio ni yeye anaprovide. Ah ah. Anataka familia yenyewe. Mtoto akitisha kitu anapata. Eh. Si wanapiganilia. But I like the fact that uh, vita ni mingi and misunderstanding ni mingi bado you keep on moving eh? Na maybe tukimalizia tutukelekee kwa kumaliza. Ah uh, Unaweza tuambia kuna vile inasemekana unatesa mama sijui kama unasoma zile comments mm-hmm. wengine wanasema uh, ako lazy <laughs> <laughs> na kuambia maneno mengi pale TikTok yeah. uh, ebu tuambie sijui nitakuliza hiyo swali ebu naweza respond aje kwa hizo comments uko lazy sijui eh, umechoka na maisha yani you are just waiting for to move out yani wewe give up kwa ile kitu nyawezi elewa video sinachukuliwa time yenye nimetoka job ama time nimeamka so unapata nimechoka hata hiyo video hata uwezi changamkaje eh so fanya tu atelewa hiyo lakini sinafaa tu changamke kidogo fanya unjua nimekwambia video anachukuanga time yenye hata mimi sijui eh you get scared at some point akichukua hizo videos hapana nimezoea hapo ah, natuchocha nimezoea yeah. nimezoea hakuna time mama yake kwa video kaboeka like umeboeka mbona anachukua nimezoea yeah. mara ya kwanza kwanza ndio nilikuwa nasikenga eh ungeongoja hata nikue hivi na hivi mm. lakini sasa hii ah chenye anachukua ni sawa <laughs> eh iko tu sawa mm. na Kevin yes. uh, do you think comfortability yako kwa kupost zile videos wewe well, una feel like kuna mahali unafika anga let me not post, post this one but let me post this. nini nakufanya anga una differentiate between the posted video na yenye uja post uh-huh. like kuchagua hizo videos ndio post nini nafanya anga una post sa zingine naangalia um, chenye watu wanataka feedback from our fans ndio na ni guide so hata ukisikia na complain kidogo video zingine na namnasa kama hajajipanga hata anasikianga tu niko namuongelesha na nimeshika kamera mbele yake kwanza ile yenye ilienda viral ile ya kwanza mbona alikuwa amevaa kaboksa akana ganda huko unga <laughs> it was on 24th na usiku mm, nilikuja i wasn't feeling good nikaamua nirudi kwa nyumba kidogo nimuone juu nilikuwa imefika tarehe yake ya kujifungua so sikutaka kwa mbali so kumuita hivi ni record ka short video na ndio hiyo ikaenda viral kabisa hadi mimi mwenyewe nikashanga eh so most of the time unamwona na boxer video tunachukua tu randomly atujai panga ati wewe tuseme hivi na hivi uh-uh. ni kuchukua tu camera raw and uncut yes mm. very raw hakuna <laughs> <laughs> kitu edited ama scripted mm. very raw mm. na inaingia na tu exactly how do you handle online hate online uh, critics okay most of the people especially when they criticize mimi eh, mara na mutesa mara vitu mingi wamenitusi but i usually take uh, them positively si ati mtu amenitusi eh, nijichukulie hapana eh, hizo ni vitu za online tunaelewa as long as mimi najua i'm doing my best ate yeye mwenyewe at her position watu watasema na mutesa lakini yeye akiona na mutesa of course ni mtu mzima of course hataongea niambie but according to me sionekana mutesa nini wanasema unamkumemkalia sana unamtesa hadi amekonda saa hii okay kukonda in fact yeye hata saa hii bado amenona time nilimpata alikuwa muslim hiyo mwili ilikuja after amejifungua and uh, she badly wanted to reduce weight and is the same people nyo amekuwa kiuliza how will she cut down the weight mm-hmm. now sasa yeah, yes sasa hii she likes her body 
and in fact bado anataka kuslim Hmm? Lakini watu sasa wanaanza kuseme wewe oh, amekonda nini nini wanasema amekonda unamtesa ni vile anataka hiyo shape yeye mwenyewe mm. au kuwa hivyo mm. eh yeah. so she is comfortable with the shape mm. hakuna matesa anapitia ama kama iko unateseka mami hapana <laughs> eh uko sawa yeteseka ningekuwa nimeenda kwetu eh niko kwetu niko na kwetu <laughs> Au kwetu eh nenda mbio sana. Hebu tuambie how do you handle online hate ku Unaona Si mimi nikionanga messages namwambia ananiambia achana tu na huyo. Achana tu na eh achana tu na nazo. So tukionanga watu wenye wanatukia au unaachana tu na au jibu. Jua vya si atarudi tena comment tena negative. So utadu na umjui. Eh so but um chenye watu hawajui ni vile as in we are trying to bring up content yenye inaonyesha real life situations of course hakuna family yenye inanga ups and downs umeona so lazima pia tu to be your content yenye kuna some downs kidogo eh yeah. wasizoe tu ma, ma love david tu eh. so lazima wapate na wajue yeah. eh exactly sasa tumalizie na qa ya da, ya 3 seconds hapo hivyo ama 1 minute eh. uh, who is more loving than the other between the two acha jibu yetu jibu yetu sikia eh oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> makofi papa ah uh, next who is more rom- o- o- romantic obvious to me i was to ask who is more romantic than the other ah uh, who is more apologizing up uh, mwenye apologizing something yeah? nani akikosa sana anaomba msamaha anasema pole mami pole baby i'm sorry for this okay huyu yeah. eh akikosa na apologize yes kweli ni kweli wis nani ana anajua kupika between the two sis what ndio what anajua kupika ndanganya mimi ndio namfunza sema kweli wana namfunza kupika eh umesema nani anajua tunajua sisi what alinifunza nikajua Yeah, so tunajua. Mnajua. Yes. Amekataa <laughs> lakini mpe tu jua me. <laughs> Nani ana who is more prayerful than the other? Like mwenye amwezi enda bed kama mjaomba bila yeye kusema. A woman, eh? Hata asubuhi before tutoke kwa nyumba family yote tatuita pamoja. Yeah. We pray together. Yeah. Nani ukasirika sana? Haraka yeah, haraka. Yeah, 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 yeah. eh? kimekuramba <laughs> na kikasirika anafanyanga nini ananyamaza ama na analipuka lipuka anatoka eh sio si wa kulipuka mm. ataenda kazi tu mm. nani huwa anakumbusha mwingine hebu pigia mamu pigia dadi muongeleshe <laughs> nani <laughs> nia <Nyea> nakumbusha <laughs> ah akisini aki wanaume situpate watu kama hawa <laughs> yawa mwenye anakuambia pigia mamu dadi <laughs> uh, the last one eh? Who is more crying baby crying baby boy crying baby girl <laughs> anajijua wewe <laughs> ndio unalia sana mhm haya nata si bure bure tu hiyo si bure bure kitu mm. gani unakifanyiwa unalia vitu ndogo ndogo mhm mm. zile serious ali anaweza kosa credit aanze kulia <laughs> imagine <laughs> vitu kama hizo <laughs> mm. ama atake kitu ama ni mtume pale alafu afanye slight mistake nikimuulizia ataanza kuniongelesha akilia umeona mm. wale mama mistake ni akifanya mistake baada ya kuja kunyenyekea aseme kwa hivi na hivi atakongelesha akilia akilia mm. ni kama tu mmoja ni mmoja fulani hapo nyuma anyway tunataka tumalizie uh, wengi wametaka kujua mluya na huyu ni mawapi huyu ni mtu kutoka Nyamira kaunti mimi na kasi gakire mno <laughs> na gaki <laughs> anyway thank you so much uh, for getting into this particular channel and i wish you all the best maybe kuna wale young couple maybe wangependa like ndio wameanza to life eh? what would like to tell them wacha tuanze na wewe upambane tu upambane kivipi utawaambia nini wewe waambie yenyewe you know, wanafaa kufanya si ni kufumiliana tu maisha ni kufumiliana hakuna soft life mtu asikudanganya na wewe kivipi ah mimi nizaambia wapendane they invest in each other hmm? both emotionally physically hmm? evo alafu wakae wakijua pia marriage is not a walk in the park kuna changamoto kadha wakadha 
depending on your person so you should under, understand your person better before moving into that relationship ndo je vile una handle in case of any challenge man yes okay tumalize wapatie social media handles watampata wapi alafu tumalize okay aha uh-huh. ukikuja okay, tiktok utatupata as vanisi 7 or just search vanisi utatupata ukija okay, youtube tuko na vanisi and kevin bado facebook vanisi and kevin instagram vanisi and kevin yes wow thank you so much i wish you all the best ungependa kuambia nini watu wewe ongea na watu acha tu kusema sema hivi sema hivi acha tu kusema sema sema mimi napenda hii watu <laughs> Thank you so much guys tumekuwa pale na Vanisi and Kevin and of course guys for those who have been wishing to hear from them their story mmesikia kama kuna kitu sijajibu pale sijauliza pin pale chini alafu next time tukikuja tutaoletea ka gift pale uh, unajua by the way Kevin anapenda ku gift hata naona uko na kitu alipo gift eh? <laughs> eh how do you feel poor eh, eh? nani demu yupi apendi ku gift you <laughs> na wewe mimi gift mhm kata Ame ku gift by the way. Eh eh hivi hadi nimevaa ni yale niletea. Ishi hadi ni yale nilie. By that a draws. Kila kitu nimevaa nilikubaia. So leo mmeamua tu mkuje. Mmeamua tu mkuje like gift gift eh. Anyway, uh ni vipo vizuri. So thank you so much guys. Make sure you are subscribing to this channel and I'll be pinning down there down there on the comment section on the channel alafu mkimbie pale msubscribe tuendelee ku grow na tuzaane tujaze dunia thank you till next time bye bye